What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back. It's another video. In this one, I've got something pretty cool for you. If you're a web developer, it's a plugin released by Google. That being called Web Vitals. If we go ahead and add this to Brave, Chrome, or whatever you're using, add extension, you'll see a new extension, obviously, that shows you metrics much like the built-in Lighthouse functionality, such as right-click inspect, then choosing Lighthouse from the tabs up at the very top and analyzing whatever page that you're currently on. Now, the difference between Lighthouse and this extension is that this extension runs in the background on whatever sites you're on. You can pull it up at any time and see some important stats that even Lighthouse wouldn't show you. This is taking some time, so I'll just cancel this for now and we'll have a look at the actual extension. Let's go to YouTube for example, and see what happens. The icon does go green, so we can click it and we can see the largest contentful paint took 1.7 seconds, cumulative layout shift, first input delay, and interaction to next paint here. These are all super useful statistics that you might be interested in. Now, if we right click this extension, choose options, we get a few options here. We can display HUD overlay, which may be useful for you while you're busy debugging, console logging, user timings, and finally compare local experience experiences to phone field data. I'm not entirely sure about that, but we'll save it, head back to YouTube and refresh. When we refresh, you'll see some information in the top right, pretty much what we saw on the plugin, except now it's overlaid on the page and of course updating as we go. If we right click inspect, head to console, you should see some more information here. Ignore everything from my plugins, such as these web vital extensions here, LCP, which shows us the largest content for paint. And on top of this, an actually really important thing, what element is causing this to be so long? In the array, we'll find time to first byte, etc. Really useful metrics. CLS, which was cumulative layout shift. It shows us all of the elements that are responsible for cumulative layout shift. Interaction should show us what we clicked on, as well as some information about it. INP, which is interaction to next paint, also depends on what we click on. And finally, FID, which was first input delay, tells us how long it took for the page to react when we clicked on something. Pretty useful. Now, of course, this is slightly different to the built-in lighthouse in that it contains some different, possibly more useful information than just your page is slow. At least you can see which elements are causing it to be slow and causing it to have different issues. It's actually a really important plugin. Now, as you can see, I currently have lighthouse open in a different tab, so I'm getting this error here. I'm pretty sure I closed that tab, but anyways, if you see this error, just make sure you don't have lighthouse running in any other windows. This plugin shouldn't have an effect on Lighthouse, and you should be able to use both of these at the same time, which is great. Anyways, that's about it for this quick little tutorial. Hopefully you found this useful. If you're a web dev, I definitely will find this useful for working on my own websites. But anyways, that's really about it for this quick video. So thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.